So guys, in the last video, we were successfully able to upload multiple files as well as single file. Um, now it's time to go ahead and start looking into the drop zone and how it will work. So I'm going to quickly shrink this one. Most of the codes which we'll be working on will be from here as well as the, from here also. But the styling point of view might take a bit of amount of time. So let me create a function called export cont drop zone. And this will take again props. And then I'm gonna extract these fields from there that we have brought in. I'm gonna paste that. And then it should also have a form group. And I think, yeah. So all these files, all these fields should be also using. So we are going to use the same states, piece of state attached to this uh, function actually functional component that we have and also I'm gonna work into the for the single upload uh, from the single upload I'm gonna copy this on change function that we have defined over here so I'm gonna paste that and this will be the same on change function uploaded images and yes upload images we'll set it to array Actually, in this one, we don't actually need to remove the previous one because we want to keep on uploading all the emails one by one and keep on rendering on the template. While rest of the part will just work fine for us. And now we need to return our template. So basically, I'm going to copy our multiple upload template first of all from here to there. And let's render them so that we can have a look how our UI is looking on the side note. So let me quickly import this drop zone and instead of this and since you remember that drop zone endpoint was single upload only so basically one by one it uploads all the file single one by one we can make it more advanced one so drop zone by right not drop zone, drop down drop zone and it has brought in that drop down from react strap that we don't want it to get it here and now it's simple as that multi upload instead of this we'll give it a id of our drop zone uploader so this is a drop down upload and in the label we are going to give a drop your files here basically this will be our drop zone uploader and if I go to the template now you can see this drop zone uploader is there now it's time to go ahead and start looking how we can integrate our this drop zone uploader with our files so the way we can do that is simply instead of this whole uh, whatever we have the inside the input what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap it inside this class called drop zone and then whatever I'm gonna define here will be button inside that drop zone so if I go to the main.css put a class of a drop zone and whatever we have defined so far from there from this I think this uploader input I'm gonna copy everything and paste it over here and this change won't be noticeable much for now because all the styles are same and now we'll start looking into the uploader so Firstly, I'm gonna get I'm gonna comment this opacity, but the position absolute is fine. And this drop zone width, I'm gonna get rid of this width comp width width part and height I'm gonna increase to 250 pixels and let's see what happens and how it looks. So if I reload, there's no change. We have a border, so let me make a border also. Mm -hmm. which we can give it auto or yeah that's important actually drop zone actually I haven't saved this one that's why we are not able to see our styles so this is fine if I click here also that's fine see it is taking hold with if I clear if I click here it is not taking that so I'm gonna completely get this one and 
I'm gonna give up for now just a border of two pixels solid black so it's a, just a UI stuff don't have to worry much about that other than that uploader input is that so uploader input yes we have it uploader input we are gonna get rid of this multiple thing form control uploader input react application it's not showing up there if I click here it's taking it no it's not So let me quickly figure out what's wrong with that. Actually, let me get rid of comment this line first and let's see what happens. So now if I reload. Oh, come on, it's not working actually. We have a drop zone, loader. Okay. Actually, let me make a drop zone upload. Wanna copy this? Save it. Gonna paste it over here. Whatever is inside, I'll just go ahead. Oh come on, it's not showing up. If I click here, it's working. If I click here, it's not. So let me give it a background color of. Uh, let's say purple for now. And just this is for the testing thing, so you don't have to worry about that much. And it's not it's still showing up. Position absolute is removed. Okay, so height will be 200 pixels, so it should catch up. So it should, if I click here also, then it should also upload, click our file. So that means our drop zone, our input is there. But it's not showing up. Let me get rid of all the classes, whatever we have defined so far from there. Okay, what I can do simply gotta get rid of everything. No upload icon, nothing should be there. And if I save it now, you can find a lot of issues. And that's mainly because this is our previous stylings are colliding with our new one. So I'm gonna get rid of everything. Dot say multiple, multiple, and dot single. And if we have something inside that, then only apply these stylings. Otherwise, do not apply these stylings. So now you can see our app has now broken. App is now broken. And now we can fix that by simply saying, putting this appending this part over here, so that we have single and multiple. So this one was multiple, and this one was our single. And now if I save, everything will start looking back to its normal state. And now you can see this our drop zone star is looking something way too off. So all the styles were mainly colliding with each other because they were having most of the same names. And now we'll look into working. We'll look how we can work with this thing. So let me quickly comment this out. Uncomment this part. And this part too. Now if I save it, you can see this uploader is here. This is our file input. And let me quickly check that drop zone. Okay, so this is a deflex, and I just don't want to give this our uploader. I want to have this uploader mask there, but this uploading, I want to put it outside of this deflex. And we'll simply put a div, and then inside that, I'm going to put our flex grow. So basically, this will be our class name deflex. And as I save this, you cannot find that. So let me make it true for now, since we are not dealing with API just yet. So here we have our upload progress. 
that I think we could make it 25%. That's for now. Let's have it 25%. And now you can see that our upload progress is there. Now I want to expand this to take whole take up the whole area of this part. So for that and this input, I'm gonna give it a class of flex bro one. And as I do this, now you can see this will take whole area. And this is not taking whole area, that's because let's wrap inside that part. Okay. Uh, before doing the, doing anything, this upload mass height to be increased by 250 pixels. Now let's see, this height is increased, so now we have to overlap this part with, we have to make it auto for now. And as I do auto, they both align each other, and now we have to overlap with another one. So if I click any point anywhere in this one, we'll click, we can see that. And upload an image. Let me make it, let's say, 150 pixels. Let's see how it looks. And this looks quite nice. I also want to put a caption behind uh, in that. So I can simply say p.text muted class. That's a standard bootstrap class. Upload your files here. And as I do this, can see that part is there but it's not looking way too good so I'm also gonna give it a class of the flex column so that everything looks fine yeah this looks nice and we'll now just uncomment this part first of all and as I save it this will overlap this part and then I'm gonna give it an opacity to zero so now you can see this our uploader is here I don't know why it's taking that much. So it was in D flex. Um, let me upload input section. And actually, this will also take class of flex grow one. So flex grow one. Let's see how it looks. And as I do this, nothing happened. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna remove this opacity. I want it to, vis to be visible. And now we will play around with CSS. So upload center, this is coming at proper position. Everything is fine. And now I think there is some issue with our code. So let me give it a class of the flex. Uh, actually, I'm playing a lot of flex boxes, so you can see that. And that's as soon as I did this, I got an error because I didn't use the class name. So why is not taking full space? Oh. Let me get rid of this auto. And if I do this, we are getting this part. So it's gonna take 95% of the area. I'm using percentages. You can use fix it with uh, your styling, whatever you want to work with. 94, this gets in a little bit. 90%. Yeah, that should just do. That should do fine for us. And the same with property I'm going to use with our drop zone, uh, that uploader mask that we have. So let me quickly put an obsolete opacity and now you can see still that's not coming way too. So all the code is confusing a lot. So let me shrink them. And this upload is coming flex pro one. This is also taking flex one and this is written inside the flex box or let me quickly comment that so I also struggle sometimes and that looks fine yeah actually 
And now if I put in our enable our opacity, let's see how, how long our file uploader looks. So now that's fine, yeah. So this is basically something I struggle with a lot of time, often times, so I'm gonna get rid of that CSS. And now this should work just fine. And now one thing here that we need to do, first of all, when we are getting our images from our backend and a URL, so it is a since it is a single upload API we are calling it, single upload, it will give just index path, but I wanna populate if there's anything inside previously available, I wanna populate that so we can spread that and once we are done with that, we can upload, uh, we can add our new data over there. So this will be whole thing as, will be an array. And now is up if I save, and now upload a progress. First of all, let me give it as a class, 22. And I think this whole part should go inside that. Okay. So now we cannot see, uh, we can see that this has a little bit of ma margin padding and everything from the left and right. It looks quite nice. And I also need inside our main container a bottom of that something. So in our main container, EB3 and MB3, MB5, I'm gonna give this class. Actually, this will be not EB, this will be MB. So basically what is happening, we have some top and bottom margins from our footer as well as our container. And if I click here, you can see we can upload our file. We are getting it that file over there. If I click another one, we have the another old file. If I click this, now we have the third file over there. I know these are the very large images. So the catchy part is now we have to look how we can drag and drop things. And that's actually, you won't believe that we have already done that part. So for now, I have one image. Let me quickly get one image for you guys. Okay, this is, this is very weird, actually. So I have these images. I'm gonna drag and drop one image. And you can see that third image is there. I wanna drag the another one. And you can see our, the third image is there. But if you have resized images, you can use grid and a lot of other cool stuff. You can use it, you can restructure it. But that's basically it about this video. Uh, I give you the basic functionality. So I just wanna do one more thing real quickly. Um, that's just a bit of styling because I like my applications to be branded well. So navbar brand, text primary, font weight that would be bold and as I save this this might start looking good and now this is the react uploader and I want to put my logo also before just uploading it to the github so my react based uploader logo or I can get my standard logo too and a pictures downloads I guess we have something yeah we have it but not related to react so that thing we'll do it. I'll do it before off the screen. So thank you guys. That's it basically about this video and we are just done. Uh, one quickly, one quick thing that I forgot to do before uploading this thing. So I have to set that to zero again. And we'll enable to false and save it. That's it. So now if you upload any, for, for this is just for the image uploader. If you want to upload something else, you have to do some other kind of program programming there. If you are rendering video, you have to put conditional templates. And I just gave you the idea, you get the brief. So for now, let me quickly go ahead into the testing. Uh, let me quickly drag a video and show you this upload progress in action. So from a video, and now you can see that upload progress is working. And as the video is uploaded, we are getting that video rendered, but we don't have that tag. We haven't handled it on the front end side. So that's why you cannot see that. 
so that's it for this video and thank you guys and keep on subscribing my channel keep on spreading this word that we have some amazing content shared to be shared on this channel so stay tuned with my channel subscribe hit the like button if you like this video and for the improvement and suggestions we are always open you can write me to my email address that's marianarendra09 at gmail.com as well as you can also like i i need a couple of help from you guys also because these days i'm working with the apollo express server uh, apollo server express and the, the main problem which i'm getting is like i'm able to upload multiple files as well as single files on the server but the issue is that i'm not able to catch this progress bar progress event so if you guys have any kind of suggestion just let me know please inform me if any kind of documentation i have already searched a lot of interview a lot of articles and everything but i couldn't find it anywhere so if you know how to configure that please let me know thank you guys